Hello everyone and welcome back to Pause Player. And this is the first episode of my brand new Let's Play, Never Alone. I was actually going to try to start this game once I finished Pocket Mirror. But I cannot wait any longer to start this game. Don't worry, I'm still going to finish Pocket Mirror up. I think I'm getting close to the end of that game, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and start on with this one. I've had it in my Steam inventory for like four months. And I'm finally getting around to playing this game. I'm super excited. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's jump on in here and begin Never Alone. Oh, cool. Some cultural insights. We may need to scope some of those out to understand what's happening in the game. Oh, it's so cool. They're like actual little mini documentaries. Oh my God, I'm loving it. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Nupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in Northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that there is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. It's a hunting society, a gathering society from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals. Oh. And that it teaches you how to have a, a society oh. that doesn't do too much harm to the world. Love and respect for nature, for one another, for our elders. Very, very fundamental value, key to, key to life. So our values are something that bind us all. The importance of sharing with one another, the importance of spirituality, and the connection to the land, our traditions, how we hunt, sharing of stories and songs and dances. I'm Inipak. I'm from the Arctic Ocean. Inipak Maruma. I am Inipak. It's very important to me. It's, it's who I am as a person. And we're very proud of who we are, and we want to continue that. Oh, this is going to be so cool, guys. So I got to feel it. I'm really going to enjoy this game. Because it, it seems like it's going to be a game that's also going to teach me something. Probably about a whole sect of people that I've never had the opportunity to learn about or read anything about or experience. It's like, that's one of the reasons I like the Tomb Raider games so much. Is not only because they're good combat and good story plot. But they give you little mini history lessons throughout that game. Whether it's about a region or if it's about a people or if it's about many artifacts that you find that give you little little tidbits of history connected to that artifact it teaches you a little bit of something throughout the game and that's what i love about tomb raider and i kind of feel that's what i'm going to like about this game as well so let's jump on in here and begin a new game shall we the in in pat i believe that's how they pronounce that in that video are an alaskan native people who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on earth Grandpapa beginning the story. I'm already loving it. Oh, the artwork is so primitive. I feel sorry for the bird. Oh, I love how the art um, is, it, it like represents like the drawings, like the primitive drawings you see in caves, like that's the art style of like this beginning animation. Oh, no. I'm 
Oh my god, I'm gonna love this. I'm I'm already I'm already can tell. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Press space to continue. Tell me more of this story, Grandpapa. Ano holak pa siyempre? Sunira ka na siya po niya. Tapra ni ba yak siya ka rin walang ayong siya po. Who lets a little girl go out in a blizzard by herself anyway? Like, how old is she? Like, eight? Oh, my God, it's a polar bear. <gasps> oh, damn. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running. Can I run faster than this? I feel like I should be able to outrun a polar bear. Or probably not. Actually, bears can run really fast. Oh, my God! This is intense. This is a whole this is a whole different level level of the Tomb Raider check. Oh, it's a little fox! You guys see that little fox that just appeared back there? Help me, little fox, help me! I'm just a little girl! I kinda wanna see what would happen if I stopped and got eaten. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. <gasps> I mean, this is a fox spirit. Play in co-op mode. <gasps> oh my god, I can press Q to switch to the fox in single player mode. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't do it fast enough. Damn it! Okay. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh! You're, you're okay, polar bear. You've got this. Water, water doesn't bother you. Hello! Well, hello, little friend! Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching back and forth between them. That's it. That's it. I don't thank thank the fox or hug him. Oh my god! Thanks, little fox. I have a new little buddy now. The weather did not clear up, as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. It's going to be some supernatural elements, of course, to this game. I think that's that uh, fox is like some kind of fox spirit. Oh. Oh my god, the adorableness meter is off the charts in this. Okay, come on, my friends. Oh, hey. Thought I maybe could talk to that owl. Apparently not. Oh, okay, I need to switch to the fox to climb the wall. There we go. Oh! Okay, I have to lower a rope here. Oh my god! I'm so adorable! There we go. I want to have to get used to constantly switching in between the two characters. So make sure that... To be able to do quests and tasks and stuff. Jump! Oh, maybe not jump. Oh, I gotta think of a name for my fox. Oh, guys, help me come up with a name for him. I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. Something cool. He's awesome. He saved me from, from a polar bear. So it has to be some kind of cool name. Maybe like Chester. Harvey. No, those are lame. Those are lame. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, got it. Bracing, bracing against the wind. Oh, okay. Sweet. Damn it! This game is literally going to be just fighting the environment. Aha! Nibiak siya ka doon. Kami kasi nga doon. 
Oh my god, I love how when I died she was like, no! Okay guys, yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to get down how to play this game, like switching in between the fox and the girl. Okay. Well, oh, hold on. Not yet, not yet. Now. There we go. Oh, thanks, bros. <laughs> Okay. We're back now. <laughs> Press while climbing wall to jump from wall. Okay, so I need to switch over to the fox. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I need to do. I got it. Okay. I jump up here, and then I jump over here. There we go. Skadoosh. Got it. All right. Now what? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's right, that's right, that's right. There we go. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. literally just going to be me fighting the environment. I guess there's not going to be a lot of actual, like, physical people opponents I have to take on. It's just me on a journey against the environment. Or maybe learning from my surroundings. Ooh. I need to switch over to the fox. Alright, Foxy Boy's doing this. Maybe not. Okay, hold on. Maybe Fox needs to go under. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Can I go over here? How am I going to get you? Ha-ha! Help a sister out. I'm coming for you. Don't leave me. All right, I think I'm getting this down now. I think I'm getting this down now. I was struggling a little bit at the beginning having to switch between the two characters, but I think I got it down now. I'm loving the soundtrack to this game. It is so relaxing. Damn it. Wind sneaking up on me. It's bogus. There we go. I got it. I got it. Come on, little fox. Oh no! Hold on. Cling on for life. Brace yourself for the wind. I'm coming. I'm coming. Damn it. No, I'm not coming. I 
I am loving this game. Oh god. It's just like some fern gully. Some fern gully crap. Like something's invading the land and killing. You're not gonna let me see what it was? Oh she Hold up, was that her village? So I don't have time for you right now. Oh, I see the sign. Oh, okay. So I don't have time for you right now. Zoe, please! It is said that with each gust of wind, the powdery snow blew in every direction. Alright, everyone. I'm stopping here for this episode. That was an amazing first episode. I am loving this game. I love the graphics. I love the soundtrack. I love the storytelling. And now that I've gotten the mechanics down of switching between the two characters to do different tasks, I'm really, really liking it. I cannot wait as this story unfolds. But let me know what you think. If you're liking this, like and subscribe and share. And don't forget to help me come up with a name for my fox. Comment down below. I, we, we have to come up with an awesome name for him, guys. It has to be an awesome, badass name. So don't forget to comment down below for that. But until I post again, guys and gals, keep gaming.